Hello everyone and welcome to Survival Game Guide in our Sengoku Dynasty series. We are having some trouble staying fed and after you run out of your initial resources, you may be in the same boat. So, today we are going to talk about how to keep yourself fed, uh, basically the beginning of the game, the early game here. Um, obviously, once you get settled in, it's a little bit easier to, to keep yourself fed, but right off the bat, you know, not the easiest thing to do. So let's go over it. Now, the great thing about uh, the area that you start in is there's actually a lot of food sources just hanging around. Um, one of the, the best, um, speaking of, there's a deer right there, but <laughs> one of the best places to just get like initial foods uh, is to actually head up here to these cliff sides. These are above the starting area when you first load into the game. I think actually when you load it, it's going to be right down that area. I think it's actually a little cove right there. So basically, I uh, just kind of go underneath the stone kind of like uh, tunnel area, come on up here, and you're going to find all these nests. Now, I've already harvested all these, so they're like empty like, and stuff, kind of almost by this one's not. But um, uh, you will find all these nests littered throughout this area. Like, there's so many of them. Um, I'll just grab them here and all that. Uh, and they're like all throughout this area. Um, and eggs actually do a decent job of keeping you fed uh, just initially. Um, and the great thing about them is that you can eat them both raw and cooked. I would recommend cooking them because you do get more food out of them. Like they, they satisfy your hunger more than if they're eaten raw. So, you know, cook your cook some eggs. There's some down there. There's like over there. Like they're all like they're right there. Like there's, there's tons of nests here. So just come on up here. Let's see if I can actually get myself in the back. Yeah, right here. Just come here on the map. I wish I could zoom in a little bit uh, And you will find all of these nests. Um, and um, that's good for you. And obviously, once you start getting villagers, a food matters a great deal for them, too. So if you can just load yourself up on a ton of eggs, uh, everybody will be happy and satisfied. Now, uh, besides eggs, um, there's a little bit more of a reliable food source, and that is the Gobu. Gobu. I'm going to say go through. Which is right here. Um, they look like this. They are, again, kind of scattered throughout the area. But look for these, like, these little purple things. And you can harvest them. There we go. And they do, like, a decent amount as well. Um, they're not, like, uh, the most nutritious or the most filling. But they are good for, like, a kind of, like, a, when you're in a tough spot, basically, and you can't get, like, meat or whatever else that's around. So go ahead and like keep an eye out for like these these, these leaves, these little purple berry flower things, and uh, cook them up. You're actually getting a lot right here. So, you know, just go to this mountain, you'll find quite a bit. And there's also there's also these plants kind of like around some more here too. Uh, around like the uh, starter village too. There's quite a few of them actually. Um, and as well as right here. There's so many right here. So, you know, you're, you're pretty good uh, cook if you after you cook all these, you'll have like a decent amount of food on you for a few days. I would even say. Now the other kind of quick easy food source are these berries, the wine berry bush. They look like that. They're like little orange berries. You can also collect these. These are more like snacks. They don't really do too too much. Uh, they don't satisfy your hunger that much, but they don't do like uh, they're not like uh, waste of your time if you will. Like, like they will, they'll do enough that collecting some while you're while you're out and about is worth it because they do kind of like finish off. Like if you're like where I am right now, how my hunger is that green bar. Like I would eat just these berries just to fill it up. They they still do it like a good amount. Like we'll just keep grabbing so you can kind of see like see it's it, it's pretty good. It's pretty good for um you know the amount that it does considering it's just a berry, right? Um so grab those as you're kind of like running around. They are also kind of like all scattered throughout the woods. Just look for the orange berries, pick them up. Um, and you'll have a good selection of little snacks to eat while you're running to and fro. Um, keep, you, keep you pretty fed there as well. Now, when you are, after you have, like, uh, I would say you get your little, your eggs and your little berries and your plants, uh, I think you're in, a, like, a, a better position to start hunting. And there's kind of, like, two different ways to hunt. One of them is trapping, which is not immediately unlocked when you start the game. So we'll go into trapping in another video, but that is an option to get meat. Um, just not right now here at the start of the game. Now you can actually hunt right from the beginning though. Uh, you can craft these wooden yaris. Your, yep. Uh, with, all you need is like a log and some stone to make it. So you can make quite a few of these. 
and then you can go run and hunt um, hare, fox, and you can see there's a, there's a deer around too. Um, there's also boar, but I would not recommend hunting boar at the beginning of the game. Uh, they are kind of like tougher creatures, and they don't go, they don't, they don't die that easily, especially with the spears. Um, so I wouldn't recommend going after them. Um, but uh, anything else, you know, go for it. Uh, the hare is a little bit hard to hit. They are very small, um, so they might be a little bit difficult. Foxes are a bit better because they're they're like a, they're a bigger target, and they I think you need like I think you need to hit them like twice if you're throwing your spear. Um, to take to take them down. So foxes, in my opinion, are really good to hunt. Um, and obviously, if you can get a deer, if you can try and throw the spear like at its head or something, it'll slow it down, which means you can continue to throw your spears at it. And uh, I think they only need like three spears to die. That's, that's how long it took to for that's how many it took for me to take one down anyway. Um, and they're obviously bigger targets, so they're easy to um, take down as well. You can obviously sneak. Uh, by pressing the control option here, um, which makes it a little bit easier to kind of sneak up on the deer because they, they do run away. Obviously, these animals will run away from you. So sneak, uh, sneak in, throw your spears, and then that's a pretty decent way to get some meat as well. Now, it is obviously time-consuming, so um, it's uh, I think it might be... It gets good when you're like really desperate for meat, but I feel like the trapping, which, again, we'll get into in the next potential video we'll have to see... Um, is the is the way to go if you want like a passive way to get food and obviously you have hunters and stuff who can get the food for you too but for your for just for like your initial like first or two maybe three days go collect all these berries these go go bud plants the eggs and you'll be pretty set for a while just long just i'd say long enough until you can actually make like that hunter's uh cabin lodge thing and, and have somebody getting that for you um, that's basically it, so go ahead and start grabbing some stuff, stock up, keep yourself fed. Um, and the main reason why you, you do want to stay fed is because the lower that your food bar is, um, the longer it actually takes your stamina to regen, which is like kind of like a cool way that they do that, in my opinion. Because um, it makes sense in a way, right? You're feeling weak, you're not going to want to be out there running all the time. It takes, it takes more energy to do so. Um, so, like, if you're, if you're out chopping trees and or running around and you realize that your your stamina bar is taking a long time to boost back up it's probably because you're hungry so quick eat some food grab some of those berries or whatever pop them in your mouth and um you know get your stamina bar regenerating a lot faster and you will be more efficient that way too right so uh yeah we'll get your food thanks for watching guys i will see you in the next one until then keep surviving and keep thriving